Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Missing parolee convicted in connection with New Hampshire officer's death arrested in Texas. Kevin Paul arrested by U.S. Marshals after nationwide search. A man convicted in connection with the 1997 killing of a New Hampshire police officer has been arrested in Texas after he was being sought for breaking his parole, officials said. Kevin Paul, 41, was convicted of being an accomplice in the shooting death of an officer. Paul was granted parole in September 2019, but investigators said he hadn't checked in with his parole officer since February 4th. An arrest warrant was issued 10 days later. The U.S. Marshals Service said its fugitive task force arrested Paul without incident in Corpus Cove, Texas, a small city near Fort Hood. Officials said investigative work by marshals in Texas and Tennessee led them to Paul's location on Northern Dove Lane in Corpus Cove. Supervisory Deputy U.S. Marshal Jeff White said he's glad Paul was taken into custody without incident. He had nothing to lose, White said. He didn't want to go back to prison. He wanted to get him off the street as soon as possible to prevent that from happening. Paul is being held in the Bell County Jail as a fugitive from justice. Investigators said Paul told his parole officer that his court mandate GPS monitoring bracelet wasn't working. The arrest warrant states that Paul failed to check in with his parole officer February 4th and 11th. He was last seen at his sober living house in Manchester on February 9th. Paul was first granted parole in 2015, but returned to prison five months later on firearms and drug charges. Law enforcement officials expressed disbelief that the parole board released him into the public in September 2019. News 9 investigates obtained an audio recording of the September parole hearing in which Paul assured the board that he was worthy of another chance at freedom. Okay, Mr. Paul, I've seen you on your previous bids for parole, and I gave you a chance, and you disappointed me, said then chairwoman. Donna Saitak. Today, I believe you are a new person, so the decision of the board is we are going to give you another chance to prove yourself. I'm not going to let you down, Paul said. I'm not going to let the detective down. Paul was originally convicted in connection with the officer's death after prosecutors said Paul watched as his friend shot the officer and then fired at police during the ensuring chase. Paul then robbed a store at gunpoint. And that does it for my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your evening, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another news report. Good night and bye, everyone.